Yay! Good morning, good morning, good morning, gorgeous. Aviola here, and welcome to Goddess Temple Sunday. I'm the founder of the Spiritpreneur Guru Academy, and this is your weekly blast of inspiration, motivation, and transformation to set your week off right. Now, I am trying to get, let me see, because I'm broadcasting from my phone today because I have moved and my computer did not want to cooperate. <laughs> my laptop did not want to cooperate with this new internet setup. So, and neither is the phone. It's saying a low signal and I can't see um, I can't see the comments area, but it is all good. We will press ahead. <laughs> we will press ahead and make magic happen. Yay! Oh, yay. Now I can see the comments. They're moving very quickly, but I can see them. Greetings, goddess Shay and the Enchantress is in the house. Greetings, goddess Courtney. Yay. She says she sees and hears me perfectly. Greetings, goddess Tamali. So glad you're here. Goddess Shanita is here. Goddess Shanita, we got to get you into some goddess stuff with us. Like, really with us, okay? Yes, yay, happy is in the house. Greetings, goddess, and goddess Kenny is here. Absolutely happy Sunday, my beauties. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. So we're calling this Sunday's broadcast, Goddess Samantha, only two weeks until I get to hug you in Belize, my love. Goddess Lucille, Goddess Mignon, and also Goddess Courtney, Goddess Shane, I will be seeing you in Belize as well, Grand Rising Goddess Mignon. Okay, so we hereby dub this week's Goddess Temple Sunday as the Pink Couch Chronicles. <laughs> Because I finally got my new pink sofa. Let me see. Okay, hopefully I can show it to y'all without like messing up this whole broadcast and everything. Okay, we just go like this. <laughs> and let me know in the comments if you want when I get back from Belize to do a whole apartment tour when I'm not in boxes and piles of stuff. Piles and piles and piles of stuff. Yay! <laughs> so in the past 24 hours, I have been unpacking. I've been visited by the furniture man, by the cable man, by the exterminator. Cause yes, I live in New York City and you wanna get a you wanna get a jump on these things. <laughs> My FedEx, my UPS, my everybody. And so I was feeling like, yay, Goddess Molly loves the couch. Thank you, sis. I was feeling like a serious like metaphor for life in this like pink couch chronicles. Let me let me uh share this with you. Yay, Goddess Molly wants to see a tour. Goddess Afua! Wait, it's Goddess Afua's birthday season she just celebrated a birthday happy saturn return let's just party over her birthday for a second party her birthday yes <laughs> i like to take everybody's birthday and turn it into a celebration because why not that's why we're here to feel the joy to feel the pleasure to feel the happiness so happy 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 birthday my love yes every time i see you probably for the next like 20 30 days i will wish you a happy birthday <laughs> don't be shook when my birthday comes up July 29th. We do the same. We celebrate for a month. Goddess Norma is here. Oh my God. Guess what y'all. Okay. Before I get into the pink, pink couch chronicles for my Belize goddesses, my mommy is coming with us. My mom is coming with me. And I want to share this with y'all because I know that so many of you that I talk to about being out there, being seen, putting your voice out there are terrified for your family to bear witness to your evolution. And I have been through the same exact journey, right? Because we get around our family and we're still that 11 year old or 12 year old or whatever it is. And I have a huge family that is on three, four continents. And so when my family, oh my gosh, goddess Damali, she's got your birthday. Goddess Shanita, y'all have the same birthday. So, um, so when, like, like I've, I've told you freely that my father, you know, tried to like tweet me. He's like, I signed up for Twitter. Hey, y'all, you know, hey, Aviola, how does this work? And I was like, block, sorry, I guess that it doesn't work. 
<laughs> it's not working. What can I tell you, right? And we'll gladly like block family members because it's like, I feel like, well, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you, my goddesses. And over the past year, I have come so... I just feel like just so solidly into myself that, you know, no matter who I'm around, like I don't feel a need to be anyone different, whether it is my family or my whoever, like I'm just grateful to be me and to share me and whatever light and magic that is with whomever. And so I'm so blessed and so lucky that my mom is going to be with us uh, in Belize. So that is going to be awesome. Yay. <laughs> All right. So let me break down for you this uh, pink couch situation. Okay, so here we go. So I have wanted to have a pink sofa for a very, very long time. But I felt like, okay, it can get dirty. Thank you, Goddess Afua. It can get, you know, my significant other feel like it's too feminine to have like a pink sofa in the apartment. Um, some of you know that I am planning to adopt a baby. Um, and if you don't know, there you don't, know, right? Um, sometime soon within the next 12 months. And so then I was feeling like, okay, we can't have a pink sofa with a baby. And I was making all of these stories up to myself about why I couldn't have this pink sofa. And in the meanwhile, at the same time, I was collecting furniture swatches. I contacted Jennifer Taylor Home, who this beautiful piece is from, and got different swatches of their bubblegum pink and their ash rose and their this pink and that pink. And so often we do that with aspects of our lives, right? We wanna travel or we wanna build our businesses or we wanna put ourselves out there, right? We have, or we wanna blog or just put our voice into the world. And we just, con we just collect information, but information is not transformation, right? And there comes a point where you have to pull the switch and make a decision, like either I really wanna do this or I'll just, Settle for where I've been and keep doing what I've been doing. Because if you keep doing what you've been doing, what? You're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And so, you know, one of the stories that I have had for myself, which was a very valid story, is that I had a sofa that I had inherited from my auntie Sylvie. And I had her couch and I didn't want to throw it out. And I haven't thrown it out. It's still in the family. Someone has it. And I didn't want to throw it out. And I had to remind myself that, you know, my aunt is not the sofa. Like, she's not, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, my aunt is here and here. Like, she doesn't live in the sofa. And then, you know, having grown up with, um, you know, I don't know if y'all grew up with in, like, um, I'm just going to call them, um, plastic couch families <laughs> or plastic yeah that's the best way where you know all of the good stuff is covered in plastic or none of the good stuff comes out to play like I don't know who it's for like okay the good towels and the good dishes like we're saving them for somebody right but then you know sorry I'm gonna put my family on blast a little bit but then when people come over they're still not good enough to use the good stuff <laughs> So it's like you're saving the good stuff for somebody. I don't know who. <laughs> Coach Kaylin says, yes, she's familiar with the, the plastic wrap family. <laughs> See, Goddess Maria said her family did not do that. That is awesome, right? Because you want to use your stuff. You want to use all of your good stuff, you know? And so I found myself doing that when the, when the couch came yesterday. They delivered it and unwrapped it and everything like that. I was like, oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, right? So I took like my, um, I always have a blanket, I'm always cold. I took my uh, my purple blanket and I spread it over it like, okay, I'm gonna sit on this so I'm not sitting on the sofa. And then I was like, oh my gosh, okay, it's not plastic wrap, it's not like plastic covers, but it's the same thing, right? Patterns and pathologies. And so although this is something as simple and as non-life changing as a pink sofa, we do this in every aspect of our lives. We do this in every aspect of our, our lives. I see it with, um, you know, people who sign up for, you know, Spiritpreneur Guru Academy. And as a matter of fact, right now I'm going to brag on one of my goddesses. You know, I love to brag, brag, brag on my clients. So for example, with Enchantress Shane, who is in the house and coming with me to Belize, 
you know, I talk about, you know, there's the tale of two goddesses and she hasn't heard this before, but I've talked about this in a talk recently. And so there is, you know, um, the same day that I met Enchantress Shane, I was giving a talk, Bob Proctor from, he's one of the writers of The Secret and one of the people you see in the movie The Secret. He invited me to speak at his Modern Millionaires Summit in Manhattan. And um, Enchantress Shane was one of the people who was in the audience there, right? And so, and, and a number of other amazing women that I met that day. But one in particular, I compare to Enchantress Shane as the tale of two goddesses. Now, Enchantress Shane went back home that weekend and started to use things that she had learned in my talk to make money that weekend. Let's give it up for that goddess. That is a goddess about her business, right? She didn't just think about it or talk about it, or collect information or whatever. Like she went home and was like, okay, that was cool. I saw this chick, Abiola, not like, okay, that was cool. Let me pontificate. But no, let me do what she said and make some money, right? Let me call in my abundance. Let me welcome in my abundance. Let me open the door and say yes to the best that is waiting for me. In addition to Enchantress Shane, my, my beautiful, beautiful Enchantress. Yes, she pre-sold. One of the things that we talk about in the Spiritpreneur Accelerator and Spiritpreneur World. Yes. One of the other goddesses who I met that day, yes, goddess Melissa, being a boss, she, the other goddess, you know, she has, she contacted me same exact day as Enchantress Shane. She came up to me after the talk, same exact way, Enchantress Shane. And she said, I really want to work with you. And since then, you know, and that is maybe 18 months ago, she has emailed me every now and then to say, oh my goodness, I, I really want to do this. Oh my goodness, I, I, I really want to work with you. Oh my goodness, I, I have to ask my husband. I, I got to ask my dog. I got to consult my mother-in-law. I, I got to go to Temple and see what they say about it. I got to, you know, like, I, 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 I got to, uh, I'm, not, I'm not technical. I, I want to have my, my internet ready. I want to get ready to get ready. I want to, I want to pre-build my business so that when I come into the program, then you can teach me how to build the business that I'm going to pre-build. I, I've got to, you know, like she's got like a myriad of excuses, a mile high, a myriad, myriad of excuses, right? Um, I've got a, I, 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 I can't, I can't afford it. I can't afford to better myself in this course, but then, and I don't count anybody's money. I'm all about it. Do whatever you want to do. I'm just using it as an example because she is using it saying that as an excuse, I, I can't, I can't afford it. Right. But then she's got like, you know, I'm saying sis with like bags and trips and cars and <laughs> which is great if that's what you want to do nothing wrong with that nothing but stop lying to yourself stop lying to yourself that well i want to do this right that's it just stop lying to yourself right and so it's really really interesting i met both of them at the same exact time but this other woman is in the same exact place same exact place, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically, everything. And when I tell you, let me brag on Enchantress Shane some more. This woman, Miss Shane, Coach Shane, the shaman, is not recognizable from the person that I met at that talk. Not recognizable, totally different person in mind, body, spirit, everything persona energy energetically she is a different human being she has evolved so greatly her light is so bright and mark my words right this minute write her name down i promise you i promise you within a year everyone will know her name she is creating transformation on this planet and not because she saw the whole thing, not because she was certain that it was all going to work out, not because it was all so very clear to her, right? We've been down many twisty, windy roads, <laughs> she can tell you, and probably will continue to do so because such is the nature of evolution. And so you don't have to figure it out to figure it out, right? And so in this past week, 
We were celebrating, I'm going to brag on her some more. <laughs> we were celebrating her first of many $11,000 days in her spiritpreneur business. Yes, yes, to the abundance, to the abundance, yes. And so what is then required at every stage of the journey is for you to step up and step into yourself, step up and step into yourself, step up and reset, recalibrate, because otherwise we scare ourselves with the change and we can scare ourselves back into um, self-sabotage. I've done it. We can scare ourselves into retreating. I've done it like, okay, this is more success than I thought I could handle. Let me shut all of this down. <laughs> Let me shut it all down because this is way more success than I thought I could handle, right? Hit the share button if you think that you want to put some positivity on your timeline. Hit the share button. And it's very interesting because this other woman, this other beautiful sister that we share, we spread light to, right? We just spread light and positive energy. So very interesting, very funny, no coincidence, and I say funny in quotes, right? Because, you know, all the time I'm like, that's funny. I got that. I see what you did there. The other sister, the same day, same day, same day that we were celebrating Enchantress Shane's first $11,000 day, this other woman wrote me an email and said, Hey, Aviola, I just want to just say hi and just let you know, you know, I still, I haven't done anything. I, I still, I want to start this business. I want to, I want to start a website. I, I want to put it up there. I, I want to create this. I, I do want to do this. I'm, I'm just trying to figure some things out, but I just wanted to just hit you up and just let you know, you know, that I, I still, I'm, I'm still doing this. She's still in the same place still in the same place. And I say that not to shame her. I say that because I am her. We all, we all are each other, right? And so we all are, I'm going to say that again. We all are each other. Nobody's better than anybody. Nobody is worse than anybody, right? We all are each other. And if one can do it, all can do it. If one can do it, all can do it. And so it's really, really important and powerful that we realize that there is power in saying yes to yourself. Not yes, but, not yes and, not yes next year, because next year doesn't come. Next year doesn't come. If you're telling yourself, I'll do whatever next year, right? Next year doesn't come. If you're telling yourself, oh, oh, I'll figure this out, you know, another time, another time doesn't come because life keeps happening. Life keeps happening. And so things will pop up. It's the nature of life. It is the nature of things that, you know, things change. And so it's not that, you know, nothing is changing. One of the email in the, in the email that she wrote, actually, you know, the, the same exact day, you know, as we were celebrating Enchantress Shane's $11,000 day. And I want to keep saying first of many, first of many, first of many, right? In that same exact day, when she wrote me this email, the other sister, she said, um, she said, I just feel so stuck. She said, I just feel so stuck in my life, you know, and it makes me, it, it makes me sad, you know, that she would feel stuck because life is not stuck. Like if we, all you have to do is go to a field to see that nature is never stuck. The creator is never stuck. Things are growing. Things are dying. Things are moving on. Things are evolving. And if we just look at, you know, what has literally happened in the news over the past year and a half, same period, same time period, right? Literally, the people that we thought were people who we loved and we supported and we were like, oh my goodness, I grew up watching these people or I enjoyed these people's TV shows or whatever. Like, and then we feel like, oh my goodness, like what's happening? Like, why is all of this falling away? Why are they, what's going on? It means that it is your turn. It is your turn and there is a turning over. There is a changing of energy. It is a quickening and it is your time. And either you say yes to it 
or, <laughs> or, <laughs> right? Either you say yes to it or. Are you saying yes to yourself, to your evolution, to your dreams? Because that, that place of indecision, we've been there. Coach Kaylin says she's been there. We have been there. That is a painful place. That place of, oh my goodness, feeling stuck, afraid to make a move, all of that. It is a painful place to be in. And so, you know, that's why I said, you know, like I want for this goddess that I'm talking about, you know, to just make a decision, like either just, just, I would, I would feel better if she just made the decision of, you know, forget it. I don't want to start a business. I don't want to live my dreams. I just want to shop or whatever it is. And that would be great. Like just whatever it is, but feeling in that in between, oh, it's agony. It's agony. I don't want to get graphic for a second. It's like being constipated with your own dreams. Constipated. Like, are you out there constipated with your own hopes and dreams? Oh, not fun. Not good. Not a good thing. Not a great thing at all. And again, you know, I, I want to just stress to you, if I can do it, you can do it. If Enchantress Shane can do it, she, you can do it. If the one goddess can do it, we all can do it. And the biggest, the biggest factor in everything that I'm talking about is you. You, yes. Goddess Norma says, yes, it's my time. Goddess Courtney says, I hear you, yes. Goddess Maria says, I say yes to me and goddess maria yes we want to move you out of that stuckness my love we want to move you out of it and the prune juice <laughs> the prune juice for feeling stuck is often a decision has to be made if it is a relationship you gotta say yes to it or you gotta say no to it living in that in between constipated relationships i see you some of y'all out there in constipated relationships <laughs> <laughs> you need to make a decision. If it is in your business, in your career, whatever it is, start. That's the prune juice. You got to make a decision. You have to make a decision. You can't stay in this limbo. And the decision making is in the power. Coach Kaylin, who is a powerful, incredible human being who is in the comments here and will be joining me for the second year in the row in a row for the Goddess Pray Love Retreat. I'm so glad that you are going to be there again, my love. So glad. She is this beautiful, incredible, powerful woman, right, who has made her mark in the world in big ways. She's still tipping out there, so I'm not going to tell all her business. And Chantra Shane is way out there, so I, can, I know I can tell all her business. <laughs> Coach Kaylin is still tipping out there, so I'm not going to blow up her spot real big right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? But she is incredibly powerful. And she can tell you that I once said to her in a call, I was like, you know, basically, you got to make a decision. You know, you have to make a decision. And I was like, you don't, you know, we can't stay in this limbo place. And you can choose to work with me. Like, you know, I don't care one way or another. I mean, of course, I care about the, 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 <laughs> just a tip, tip, tip about the beauty of getting to help you evolve. But what I care about more than whether you work with me or not is that you get somebody, that you get some mentorship, that you get one person and ride it out. And I told her that, you know, I was like, I was like, whether it's me and I'm right for you, that's great, or someone else, but make a decision for you because this limbo, that limbo place, that un that undecided place, that gray area, no, it's agony. It's agony. It is horrific. And so either say yes to it or say no to it. You know, either let it be a heck, yeah, or no, right? Either be way like, yes, 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 and step up into it and say yes to yourself. And again, here's where we get tripped up. We think that it's got to be, we got to figure it all out. We think that the answers have to all be there already, right? And we're like, okay, wait, I, when, I, when I figure it all out, then I'll figure it all out. Huh? <laughs> when I figure it all out, then I'm going to figure it all out. 
That doesn't, it, that doesn't make sense. No more getting ready to get ready. Greetings, Goddess December. Another shining star is in the building. Goddess Jamie, I'm seeing you're emailing me during the broadcast. She's emailing me. Her internet isn't working and things like that. I, I, I love you, Goddess Jamie, but I, I can't fix your internet, my love. Um, <laughs> yes, Goddess Afua says in living color. Yes, absolutely. Wishy-washy choices lead to wishy-washy results. Yes. Yes, absolutely. And it was the same exact thing for me, you know, when I was trying to piece everything together and take a little bit of this, take a little bit of that and try to figure it all. Like it if you're trying to amateurish amateurish choices also lead to amateurish results and you deserve better. Your relationships deserve better. Your dreams deserve better. And so make the decisions, whatever it is, make the decisions and then stand in it and then watch things unfold. Don't expect it all to be figured out immediately. It doesn't have to be figured out right now. That's okay. As you make each decision, a door opens. That's I like, that's the beauty of it, right? Like Coach Kalen just said to Enchantress Shane, oh my goodness, I can't wait to meet you in Belize. Who knows what might happen? What? Next year, these two goddesses might be a superpower and create a retreat somewhere. And now we're standing in Bolivia at their retreat, right? Gladly, happily. It's because when you say yes, again, we don't know what's on the other side. They don't know the magic that's going to be made when they come together. Greetings, Goddess Neith. So glad you're here, right? We don't know. You keep on going. Yes, to quote Goddess Tinsley, keep going, keep growing, and keep glowing. I love that. Yes, I don't even know where Bolivia came from. It changes anyone. Who knows, right? Neith Sankofa is in the house. And yes, that is the way we have to say her name. And Chandra said, Neith Sankofa. Opa, she is here and she also just recently went through a move and went through some change and so we are sending love because moving <laughs> I used to say all the time like moving is of the devil like oh my god but you know what moving is again a perfect metaphor for change 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 is scary change is terrifying right we don't want to make the wrong choice that's why like i said you know for something as simple and as easy as a couch like if i bought it and it didn't work out what i could send it back if i bought it and it ends up stained i get a new one <laughs> right but we think that every decision in our lives is you know has to be like the ultimate decision so while I was looking at the furniture swatches and trying to decide and trying to pick and drop it, uh, it's like, ah, uh, all right. <laughs> it's time to make a decision. Time to make a decision. Goddess Melissa says her word for this year is expansion. Yes. And so it is time to expand into the greatest part of yourself. Say yes to you. Say yes to your evolution. Stop playing games. Stop trying to piece your life together. You deserve to have incredible relationships. You deserve to feel abundant. You deserve to love your body, right? You deserve to love your body and you deserve to love your, your business and your dreams and you deserve to feel happy. You deserve to love your life. You are worthy and deserving of all good things. Let's affirm that as we close. Hit the share button, put it on your timeline. I am worthy and deserving of all good things. Thank you, Enchantress Jane. I am worthy and deserving of all good things. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And so I am thinking that although, yay, Goddess Number says she loves the pink couch. I'm going to open up the Spiritpreneur Guru Academy for two weeks before I leave uh, for the Goddess Pray Love Retreat in Belize. I will let you know more about it tomorrow, but I've been so enamored and in love with the group that I have that I also have been, you know, just waiting and working with everything else and, you know, planning my retreat and all of those things and promising you all that I was going to open the doors. And it's the same, right? It's the same. Let me open the doors 
and welcome in additional magical, beautiful goddesses. Yay! <laughs> we are worthy and deserving of all good things. Have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday, my goddesses. Thank you for coming to hang out with me and the pink couch. We got to name this pink sofa, right? She needs a name. We'll come up with a name next time. All right, my loves. It is so absolutely goddess need. Amen, Ashe. And so it is. Be seen, be heard, be a movement goddess. Namaste. 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 Mm. Thank you for this soul nourishment this morning. <laughs>